Hi, welcome back to Crochet Creations and Vlogmas Day 31, the 12 days of gnomes. And today's the last day of Vlogmas, so that means today is another giveaway day. Stay tuned. <laughs> I have a wonderful coffee tonight. I have a cinnamon snickerdoodle with a hazelnut creamer. I absolutely love this. I need to just continue by this hazelnut, um, cinnamon snickerdoodle. <laughs> this one is sold in uh, the Price Chopper grocery store here, and it's bagged, so you can buy the whole, you know, like a, a pound at a time, so it's nice. Oh, let's see, second to the last movie. And it is this, uh, okay, so on the countdown, it's number two, and it's movie 31 for us. Die Hard. Come on, who uh, also is a Bruce Willis fan? Own up to it. If you love Bruce Willis, let me know. <laughs> okay, this was in 1988. It was an action thriller. And it is on the fence whether or not they you call it a Christmas movie or not. <laughs> My husband says it is. It is. It's a it's a must watch every year, you know. <laughs> we haven't watched it this year yet though, but if if I remind him he he'll try and find it to watch it. Um a New York PD officer tries to save his wife and several others taken hostage by German terrorists during a Christmas party at the Nakatomi Plaza in Los Angeles. Director John McTiernan, the, the stars are Bruce Willis, Alan Rickman, Bonnie Bedelia, Reginald Bell Johnson. Everybody knows those guys. Oh, but I watched all of the Die Hard movies. All of them. Die Hard with a Vengeance. All of them. Loved them all. I can I can picture them doing everything in all the different movies. I love those. All right. So, wow. Today is a big day. And last night, oh, my phone was blowing up. You girls are something. All of you playing the game. It's wonderful. Okay, so I have to tell you, you, last night's video, you have all the way through till Monday to change your answers. So don't, you know, don't have, uh, don't worry. You've got plenty of time to change your answers. Um, and I will uh, draw a winner on Monday off of that, um, the 30th, the Vlogmas 30. So you have time. And that winner will be getting the North Pole bag, which you see in the background over here. And all the goodies are in there. I will be showing, I'll be showing the yarn that's in there that night. So, um, let's see. Yeah, I appreciate all of you playing along. It's so much fun. I'm hoping that you love it so much that you want me to do the um, the scavenger hunt again next year because I really liked it. I got to see the baby today for about three or four hours. We sat in the living room around the fireplace. No, it's not a f real fireplace. It's a it's a fake one, but it looks real. And uh, the Christmas tree was going, and she was just sleeping away. I held her for a while, and then Mommy fed her, and then they put her in the chair, and she slept for a while, and then she came back to me, and I held her. What a beautiful baby. Babies are beautiful when they're sleeping. <laughs> she is beautiful. I'm biased, though. She had her pair of snow, uh, snow, uh, snowman booties on that I made so those were adorable and she got her mommy and me hat for Christmas and that that is a little big but that's fine she's got a lot of hair <laughs> okay enough about the baby um 
I have a new cast on. <laughs> I'm doing another button cow. This one is going to be Outlander inspired. <laughs> this is in the Loops and Threads Charisma in the Charcoal Tweed. And this one is five bulky. 100% acrylic. I like this one. No, sorry, it's 3% viscose, which is the Tweety Bits. So, I like this colorway. It's gray, a couple of different shades of gray. Very nice. And I just cast on to 9mm Haya Hayas. And these are metal fixed. I cast on 40 on this bulky, and I'm going to be doing it this way. It'll be up and down. And then I'll just put buttons. It'll be a button cowl. So when it gets around to the size that I'm looking for, then I'll stretch it and put buttons on. See how that goes. So that's flying off my needle. It's already 20 rows. I think it's even more than 20 already, but maybe not. So this is going to be nice. I, I just, I, sometimes you need a palette cleanser. And um, using a bulky five will help speed along a satisfying finish for you. Just saying. Sometimes you just need it. I mean, I have other things going and I will continue to work on them. It's just that I don't have enough of uh, progress to, to show you. And uh, so I'm going to hold off. Uh, because we have a lot of other things to do tonight. As you can see, I am pushing it off okay a little bit of a update tomorrow is going to be a big draw day we have happy scrappy yarn challenge draw which should be tomorrow if it's not it's over the weekend so all of these things will be over the weekend at some point or another i just don't know if i'll do one or two tomorrow one tomorrow two tomorrow three tomorrow i don't know but happy scrappy yarn challenge ends for uh let do you want to make a snowman then hats hats and more hats that will end a new challenge will go up for that um show and tell will be ending for the quarter and that will end for now a new happy scrappy will or yeah a new hats hats and more hats will go up a new yearly make along will go up for the pineapple vintage make along and Christie's Scarfy will end tomorrow or within the next couple days. The crochet along with Stephanie, the winners for that will be drawn and that will end. So lots of things going down and lots of new things are coming up. It's one of those things. It's a yearly end and it's a monthly end. Whew. I'm a busy person and... New year, new D stash. Yep, D stash is now. They I took a break for a week, and D stashes will be Sunday mornings live from Christie's Closet. You don't want to miss it. Don't know what I'm going to be giving away, but I'll be giving away something. May not be a lot, but it. I can guarantee you, I'll be gabbing away about something. <laughs> Hope you'll join me. Okay, did I catch up on everything? Um, yes. Let's do Stephanie's gift to me for day number six. How's that? We will open our 12 days of Christmas with Stephanie. And this is going to be day number six. She's been opening gifts on her channel and she she's been making me so happy because she'll look at it and she'll be shocked like i don't have that how did she know i don't have that well i've been listening <laughs> but it is also some luck there it, it's it's a trap shoe i mean a crap shoe you don't know what the person's gonna like you might have a good idea but yeah it's 
it is shocking that well i knew about the bag i knew she wanted the bag because she said to me oh let's give a you know we were both saying let's give a bag in our grand prize for our cow and uh, she says i don't have any i don't you know so she goes well i can buy one so she she went ahead and bought one i was surprised when she bought one from christy but that's okay and she put it right in to the drawing you know so it's not hers and she said i should get one someday so i'm like yep that's going in the box <laughs> so if you haven't gone over to stephanie's channel and watched her open her gifts from me you please do the link is down in the bottom and she is excited because she's almost got to 140 and it's mainly because of us doing a collabor collaboration so this has been fun okay so number um package number six is right here i'm gonna open that next <laughs> a little bit of painting is always fun right oh <gasps> she got more soft and sleek oh my gosh look at the color it's more soft and sleek from the uh the Hobby Lobby, you know, that place that I never get to go. Yeah, that place. Look at the color. <laughs> Says it's called Neutral Stripes, and it is. It's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. How pretty are they? Wow. Soft and Sleek is a four medium. 186 yards, 100% acrylic, but a soft acrylic. Nice. Very nice yarn. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I'm, I'm glad to have something I haven't touched before. And um, such nice yarn. Quality. It's very nice. I love this colorway. Thank you so much. Thank you. It will be used soon. Hopefully, I'm getting a little busy, but I'm getting myself into busyness. <laughs> but we will be doing make-alongs together, so um, we're going to keep each other busy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what else do I have? Um, okay, we're going to do the next five questions. That's what we're going to do. So... Are you ready? You have your pens in case you don't know um, what the questions are, but I think most of you do. Most of you know. So day part number two, I should say. Okay, so part number one was on Vlogmas day 30. You had five questions to answer on Vlogmas day 30. You have to be 18. You have to have a United States address to receive physical prizes. And these are all sponsored by me. And the bag is $25, $30 prize. If I have to say that, I'll say that. Um, what else? You have to have answered the questions uh, in day 30 in the comment section. And you need you really should be a subscriber. <laughs> Okay, and day number 30 will be drawn on Monday the 4th. So you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to get your comments the way you wanted them and the way you want them and edited. Okay, <coughs> the prize, <coughs> one more time. <laughs> the prize for Monday, the 30th drawing, no, on December 30th drawing, is the green bag from the North Pole. Now, let's go on to day 31 of Vlogmas giveaway. On day 31, which is today, you will comment below these five questions. Ready? Okay. Uh, number one, what booties and hat did I make for my granddaughter uh, during Vlogmas? Number seven. Well, it's the second question, but number seven question. Um, what kit did I give away during Vlogmas 2020? 
Number three, how many times did I say halo during Vlogmas 2020? Number nine, the total number of candies in the candy dish, in the Christmas candy dish for the December Lotto game. How many total number of candies did I say during Vlogmas 2020? And the last question is what was sent to the Reindeer Express? And the winner of day number 31 will receive the Reindeer Express bag right there. So that's the game. That's the uh, scavenger hunt. I hope you all are enjoying this. Please leave me a comment below. Please give me a like. And please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. During Vlogmas, we've only added maybe 30 people. Maybe 40. I don't think it's very many. I know I was around 670 when we started or 660. I haven't added that many. So if you can share, share. If you can't, well, that's okay. Okay, so I'm sure you're ready to hear about the gnomes because it's the 12 days of gnomes and I haven't said a thing about gnomes yet. And now I've said gnomes about five times. <laughs> and the next thing we're going to do is ask you how many times I said gnomes during Vlogmas. <laughs> Come on, you got to laugh. That was a good one. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Okay, so what do, what do I have to show you? I have to show you my third gnome. But before I do, I'm going to tell you that this is the 12 Days of Gnomes I'm doing with Stephanie from Stephanie's Yarn Escape. Hi, Steph. <laughs> so um, she's been showing gnomes. She, she showed three gnomes so far every other day. And every other day I show a gnome. And I showed you two so far. And today I'm going to show you my third one. And what we didn't tell you was that at the end of the 12 Days of Gnomes, you will be able to enter in a contest, uh, not a contest, but you will be on, you can enter into a giveaway to win a gnome, one of the 12. Isn't that cool? And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to tell you what day and you will be able to make a comment on hers. And then if you win, you could pick from any of the 12 gnomes. And then on mine, if you win, you will also be able to pick from any of the 12 gnome, gnomes as long as it hasn't been drawn. It hasn't been taken yet. So what we'll do is we will ask you that day for your favorites and, you know, more than one so that way if it's taken the, the first drawing so yes <laughs> that's going to be fun and you haven't seen them all because all you've seen so far is five of them so you ready for day num or gnome number three i am i'm ready to show you so for christmas i got some towels from my husband and i thought that they were pretty cool so these towels are with the lab puppies on them. They have golden labs on them right here and here and here. And they are Christmas trees and Christmas wreaths. So I picked out the ice yarn that I got that I thought was Christmassy. And I made a gnome out of the Christmas yarn. And it is almost the same color as the trees. <laughs> So I think he is the cutest thing. Now he has a star for his button. Yep, and that's his hanger. And I think he's just the cutest thing. So if you're interested in making one of these towel hangers, they require a three inch ring. You can get plastic or metal. I got metal because that's all the store had at the time. And you just Follow the pattern in the description box below to the tutorial and you can easily make one of these hats, attach it to a ring, and voila! Amigurumi cheating gnome. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
right, so that is my gnome number three. Hope you're having fun. Happy New Year, everybody. And let's um, see you all in 2021 tomorrow on uh, the 12 Days of Gnomes. Good night. Bye, everyone.